I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like the idea of vanilla uh, custard for breakfast. What do you think? I'm into it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Joining me now, Amanda Lunin, aka Mandy Lou, owner here at uh, Auntie Lou's Tree. Hello. And then we've also got Charlotte Newton, one of your bakers here at uh, at the store. How are you guys doing? Great, thanks. How are you? Good. <laughs> Good. Charlotte has to be mute because we don't have a microphone on her. So she's <laughs> uh, what are we making today? Well, today we're going to assemble our famous Nanaimo bars. Uh, Nanaimo bars are actually native to Canada. They originated from Nanaimo, BC. Mm -hmm. So we sell a lot of these, especially to our American clients. Uh, we actually had a brand new client in yesterday from Mexico City who was completely intrigued by these. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, Nanaimo bars are put together in three levels, right? So right here we have a blend of coconut, um, a margarine base, uh, graham cracker crumbs, and good dark Dutch cocoa. Mm -hmm. And then here we have some vanilla custard. So we're going to get Charlotte to show you how to spread some vanilla custard okay. over the top of the graham crumbs. So go ahead, hon. Now, is there, <laughs> there a technique to, you called it schmooshing the vanilla <laughs> custard over the bottom? Well, you just want to spread it evenly over it. So that way, whenever we pour the melted chocolate mm -hmm. on the top, it will go evenly. So this is a cake tool Charlotte's using here. Okay. And it's gonna smoosh the custard along the top. So now being Eastern Ontario's only 100% gluten-free and vegan, we're just bakery. vegan. We're just vegan. Right. Eastern Ontario's <laughs> only vegan um, uh, bakery. Did you have yes. to alter the Nanaimo bar recipe? Definitely. Original Nanaimo bars have a lot of heavy creams and dairies in them. Right. So in our custard mix, we use a really good high quality product called Earth Balance. Okay. It's a margarine. So right. it's made out of flax and olive oils and a lot of other good stuff. Okay, so we're smooshing. And you mentioned that not all of this will go in there because this is a double batch. It's a double batch. Of vanilla custard. Oh yeah, it's the good stuff. <laughs> Imagine you just put it all in there. <laughs> okay, so then uh, once Charlotte is finished smooshing, is this hard? Can I try? Let her try. Okay, hey. so it, it kind of reminds me of um, drywalling. Almost. Yeah, <laughs> you want to spread it right to the edges. All right, right to the edges, there but not go. too thin, right? Just so that way it's even like the rest I of the know, custard. Sure. It's okay, you're good. There's lots of room for error in this. You have nothing to worry about. Okay. Uh. Should, I, should I take more? Yeah, Does you can take more? a little more. Yeah, or a little bit more. Okay, go for it. Go in there. All right. Is that too much? No, that's perfect. Go. Okay. It's going to be a big fat batch. Okay, so now. I'm going to let you take over <laughs> so we can show the uh, the drizzling of the melted chocolate. Oh, and it's very really good. It smells so good. It's my favorite part. So we have a chocolate melter over here. Oh, gosh. And then this is an offset spatula. A spatula. <laughs> okay. And that's what you'll be using to kind of spread it out. All right. Yeah. So while Charlotte finishes, will you cut into the finished Nanaimo yes. bar? Yes. I've got to try will. one of these. When you Google Auntie Lou's treats, one of the most, I would say, popular reviews that come up are for her Nanaimo bars. You said that you have like, pretty much a cult following for this, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's funny, one of my very dear friends, a, a man named Chris, helped me develop this recipe. So thank you very much, Chris Horton. You're the best. So they're not all your, your uh, grandma's converted uh, no, recipe. No, Auntie Lou's is definitely a joint effort among my family members and my friends. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of love here. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. You want to uh, grab and taste? I do want to grab and taste. Go on, take a nice big bite. <laughs> All right, should I break it in two or take the whole thing? Take the whole thing. Take, oh don't be shy. Take gosh. the whole thing. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> really good. Thanks. What are we making later in the morning? Uh, we're going to be making some strawberry frosting, and we're also going to be making some lavender cake. But the recipe I'm going to show can be used at home with any of your favorite teas and or herbs. Excellent. Yeah. In the meantime, head to the uh, Auntie Lou's website. This is so good. I'm finishing the whole thing. <laughs>